you just remember two things differently. Clothes, so, stuff are different, like um, label brands, like um, Chris George. I remember he had a tail. I don't he didn't remember, have a tail. I remember him without a tail. Or Cliff Bar. I remember 1F. I remember she two remembers F. 2F. I remember Uncle Sam wore a red and white striped hat. a strong enough recall no longer matches the past, you will experience a recall anomaly paradox. Say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. Thank you, season finale, for uploading the Mandela Effect, George Burns' huge discovery. And thank you once again, Quantum of Conscience, a.k.a. Texas Shrugged, for notifying me today, 7-11-2018. I don't know the George Burns show, but this one seems like it could be big. If the proper research is done, say goodnight, Gracie. A small channel covered it in the link below. There have been books, say goodnight, Gracie, as well as a movie, a TV movie, and a Broadway show of the same name. This makes no sense, but I never saw the show. Of course, the first few links of Google talk about the goodnight, Gracie myth. This would not be the first time Google search pushed reality one way or another in my experience if it's at the top of Google it's wrong I agree this is a big one but with every change there are always those that have the current memory we're a little late so Grace say goodnight goodnight way back on May 31st 2014 Gracho Marx you bet your life posted a video and made this comment here is a collection of many brief snippets from the closings of the Burns and Allen TV show this is where George supposedly said say goodnight Gracie and Gracie would answer goodnight Gracie well that never happened and George is on record multiple times saying it never happened but now we don't have to rely on just his memory because I've personally gone through the closing of virtually every show and can confirm that it never happened. Full disclosure, I don't have all the closings of all the episodes. I'm still missing a few shows, and some shows that I do have a copy of are missing the closings, but out of 291 total episodes, I've easily checked at least 250 closings. Say goodnight. Good night. Good night. Gracie, say goodnight. 
was uploaded that day and he commented here are the only examples I could find in eight years of closings for the Burns and Allen TV series where George actually said the words say goodnight Gracie out of roughly 250 show closings checked five times but Gracie never says goodnight Gracie and now, here's Carnation's own contented couple, George and Gracie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Gracie and I will be back again two weeks from tonight. We're a little late. Say goodnight, Gracie. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Folks, remember what the National Safety Council says. Whether you're a driver or a pedestrian, a moment's carelessness can change your life. Or take it from you. Accidents don't always happen to the other fellow. Be careful. The life you save may be your own. That's right. Say goodnight, Chris. Good night. Good night. That takes care of the four minutes. Say goodnight, Chris. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I said say goodnight, Chris. Good night. So I said, well, flip a coin, and if it comes out heads, have your hair dyed. And if it comes out tails, say goodnight, Gracie. Good <laughs> Laugh-In was a rapid-fire sketch comedy show. It combined many elements found in vaudeville with a 1960s style slogan-type one-liners. At the end of every show, they would say, say goodnight, dick. To which Martin would reply, Good night, Dick. This was, of course, borrowed from the closing of the George Burns show with Gracie Allen. Say good night, Dick. Uh, get that out of your mouth. You'll burn your beard. Say good, good night, Dick. George Burns. for each of us, and with different techniques and mechanisms. And now let's go to a movie. Sure, let's see a picture tonight. Yeah, there's a wonderful movie down at Warner Brothers. It's all about a woman who murders her husband. Hold and, it, uh, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Good night. Murders her husband.